My husband is very smart and very quiet and an introvert and does very well and, um, uh, and then married me. And, <laughs> and we've been exactly the opposite, but it has worked. Um, he's a big man. He's 6'4". He can kick a door in, and I like that. Um, <laughs> he works like a dog. And he loves a baby. Let me tell y'all that he is a baby cuddler at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. He cuddles the drug-dependent babies every week of the world as a volunteer. I know, sweet. He didn't help me with mine. <laughs> but... Cause he was out making a living. And paying for all this, we've got two still in college, and, and I wanted a fourth baby so bad when my baby child went to kindergarten. I nearly grieved myself to death. I thought, Lord, what am I going to do with all this time on my hands? I hope I don't get hooked on whiskey and start honky-tonking. <laughs> and about three weeks into her going to kindergarten, I was like, woohoo, woohoo, now I can go get a pap smear without somebody sitting on my head. <laughs> But my husband, when I dropped her off, we, he said, meet me at the IHOP. Because he knows that pancakes get me through a hard time. <laughs> and I was crying, and, and I said, I want another baby. And he said, why don't you get a job? <laughs> yeah, right. So... <laughs> I said, I'm on a fourth baby. And he said, y'all are sucking the financial life out of me. So he bought me a dachshund. I had that dachshund for years. She's gone now. But let me tell you, she and I both got thyroid issues. She had cushions. I was walking her in our neighborhood one day, and a little girl came out in her driveway, and she said, can I pet your groundhog? <laughs> oh, y'all. So about my husband. All right, so my husband is a big man and is 6'4". I'm 5'8". We breed big kids. And, um, and we wanted them to be in sports And when they were growing up. And so we made them do all kinds of mess they didn't want to do. And we put our boy, when he was little bitty, we put him in T-ball. He hated it. <laughs> Um, I don't know if any of y'all have had a baby play t-ball, but for those of you who don't know, t-ball season, it's about 110 degrees outside. <laughs> it's little children that are four, look like they've got a diaper on under their baseball pants <laughs> or a pull-up. Um, the games last about three hours. <laughs> Nobody ever hits the ball, throws the ball, catches the ball makes contact with the ball. <laughs> My baby laid in a fetal position in the outfield the entire season. He never touched a ball. Every once in a while, he'd pop his little head up and say, water. <laughs> one game, it was so hot. And I, t I told the middle one to go out and take her brother a water bottle. She was about two and a half. And she went walking out there with a tutu and a crown and a wand and her pink prostitute shoes from Walmart. <laughs> she walked about halfway, stopped, got a glazed look over her eyes, pulled her little panties to the side, and pooped in the t ball thing. <laughs> she really did. So I had to run out there and get a stick and flick it into the woods because I didn't want another child to step in it or think it was a milk dud.